Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Vibing at the Dark underscore with Mo. And if you're new to my channel, how about hit the subscribe button? And if you're a returning subscriber, how about like the video? That helps a lot. Okay, so tonight we're going to get into the receipts that Tamika Scott provided for us about her sister, Tasha Scott, and her sister husband. How they stole money from her, how they trying to extort her. With the sex tape, how she changed over, they changed over all the documents, text messages, and more. And if you have not seen my other video, which was the Tasha Scott apology to her sister in Escape, I will leave that, the link in the description box and in the comments, pinned in the comment section, so you guys can go watch that. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, here is the thumbnail, so you can see how it looks. It literally is the next video. And y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about this whole situation. I'm going to just go ahead and play it. If y'all want to go see the whole video through without no stops and anything, you can go on Tamika Scott YouTube page. is on her page. and Or you can go look at it on TikTok. My sister is online saying that I'm lying. She did a video saying, oh, you know how she lied because I said the things that I said about Candy to protect her. She was calling me, crying in the phone, talking about a book Jermaine wrote, crying, saying Candy said she broke up the group. So I went to defend my sister and I said a whole bunch of things about Candy and I apologized, all right? So now she wants to hold that over my head and say that I'm lying about the money that was stolen from me, my royalties that were stolen from me. And she wanted me to go somewhere and repent and ask God to forgive you and your husband who's out here being trifling, lying on me and my other group members, sending threat text messages from an anonymous number, but then turn around and do a video and say the same thing that's in the threat text. Girl, you and your husband got to be the most simplest criminals in the world. How are you going to send me a threat text? Okay, I froze it so you can screenshot it and read the message if you want to. This is her first receipt. So I got a threat text about me, Tiny, and Candy, all right? First of all, her husband says that I sent him naked pictures. And he says something about Tiny and he says something about Candy that I'm not going to say, which are all lies. A lot of stuff has happened over the years where I have protected my sister and her husband. Okay, so I believe her that she never said anything because she wanted to protect her family. If you revert back to my old video that I posted, the brat even said she always protected her sister. No matter what, if she was right or wrong, she did. Miss Diane already explained to everybody that she signed all of us up for sound exchange. Well, I signed Escape, every one of them, up for sound exchange. And... um I, I sent all the paperwork and, and Tamika, I, I, I did Latasha, everybody. And Tamika told me when, she, when we filled out the paperwork, her she was living in New York then. Mm -hmm. and, and I still have the paperwork. And I filled it out and I put it, her address was all in New York and everything. He, Tamika, my, my Tamika had gotten her checks and it was a pretty big check then. I'm thinking it was like close to $20,000 the first time. They got a lot of checks though. And Tamika said, I didn't get my checks. And I said, well, you should have. I said, because Tamika's gotten several checks already. And so we called up to Sound Exchange. Me and Tamika was on the line. And we talked to, this guy's name was Joe Mo Grady. I think he's passed away, but back then, he was the person we talked to. And he talked to Tamika, and she asked him questions about her checks. And he told her that her checks were going to Hampton, Georgia. And so after that, she said, well, I live in New York. How did this happen? And he sent her copies of the checks. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, yeah, so he sent, I just, he sent copies. He said something about your sister and Rocky, mm -hmm. or Edward Bivens, because I really didn't know Rocky's name. Right, he said Edward, Edward Bivens, Bivens cash your checks. But how was I supposed to get my money back? The only way you could get your money back is you had to prosecute him. And you said, I don't want to do that. Once we did do the investigation, well, they did. They sent information. Someone sent in, which was my sister, and I will be put showing that in a second. She changed the contract and put um, her name on the contract saying that she was my manager. 
and I, you're gonna see that in a second. And then they put my, uh, they sent my passport. It was a lot of I stuff. I know he said, you know, that they that they had proof they thought it was you and everything. And but there's only reason that you, that you couldn't get your money back is you would have to prosecute them. No one has a reason to lie, and you're gonna see with the receipts. And yeah. if it wasn't for Miss Diane, none of us, me, Candy. My sister, Tiny, nobody would have gotten these checks from Sound Exchange. If it wasn't for you finding out about that royalty. Well, see, we, my husband with the Tams, I signed them up, and I, that's how I found out about it. And our business managers in New York told me about it. So that's kind of how I knew about Sound, Sound Exchange. Thank you for, for doing that because we've all... We're still getting checks today. That's good. <laughs> Get them checks. Yes. Love you. Thank and I you. I love Tasha still. I mean, I I love her. I mean, you know, I would never lie on none of y'all. I, I love y'all. I know. Y'all my babies. Somehow, my information was changed and sent to Sound Exchange. Now, when my sister was asked about Sound Exchange, she acted like she didn't know what I was talking about. So I'm not going to do too much, but I will clear my name. I will show you a few pieces of evidence that shows how they went in and they changed my address to their address. How they changed my email. Everything that Diane, Miss Diane did was changed by my sister, Latasha Scott. That will give you evidence. Now, the misconception is... The 30000 it wasn't one check. It was multiple checks. It wasn't just one. So I was very nice. I was being very nice to say that only 30000 was stolen, was stolen from me. I was very nice to say only 30000 was taken from me, stolen from me, rather. So you want your apology? Oh, yeah, one of the threats were that my tape, I have a sex tape that I did. Yes, when I was in my 20s, I did a sex tape. So, you know, I didn't want to take it back to my house, so I gave the tape to my sister and told her to hold it. So, you know, I can watch it every now and then. You know, I just got to be honest with you. I was I was looking good on the tape. But uh, anyway, I gave it to my sister, so I went back to get it. She said someone stole it out of her safe. So I said, okay, well, who got the safe code? Who got the code to your safe? She said only her and her husband. But somebody stole my tape. Now I'm about to be blackmailed by them. If I don't apologize, they're going to put the tape out. This is what the text says. So, you know what? You're not going to scare me. You got my tape, but you said you didn't have my tape. Now all of a sudden you want to extort me and put the tape out? <laughs> and you're doing a gospel album. Hmm. Let's talk about that. So, at the beginning of last year, my grandmother and my mom all were saying they wanted me and my sister to do a gospel album. So, the management at the time went and I sat down with her and she said that Motown Records offered me and my sister a, a gospel deal, right? So, my sister came up to my house March of last year, came up, spent the night, got snowed in, we were singing, we were cooking, having a good time. But it was a scratch in the record when I told her that we need to split everything down the middle. We need to write everything. We need to create everything together. And all of a sudden, she was she was outraged. She was like, well, this is what I do. I do music. I do music. You can do screenplays and you can write plays and movies, but I'm the singer in the family. So me and my husband was looking like, what just happened here? We're sitting here talking about a, a deal, a gospel deal for us. And she just went bananas i'm the singer i'm this i write i do this so in uh, between all that eyes i was tired from cooking and cleaning she left my house she never mentioned it again and now she posted receipts on her thing saying that rocky got us the deal but if you look real real close to the paperwork like i did i screenshot it and read it it says dear whatever the guy name was she was asking questions she said she said, uh, what was his name? The manager, Rocky, and I. So the and I was not Rocky. It was the lady who sat down with us and told us who she got us the deal. Our old management. <laughs> so how did Rocky get us the deal? I'm just so sick and tired of her praising him like he's God. It's like she want him to be this big. Okay, to make the stay focused. 
stay focused. But he did not get us the deal. I'm sure he he was the one that talked her out of it, of both of them. Because it's how you steal my money and steal our gospel deal. Oh, and it gets, y'all, it gets better. Check this out. So I have people calling me, sending me. I'm in church. This is the crazy thing about it. I'm in church and I got a text. And somebody said, what's going on with this? So evidently, if you go on your cable network and you look up uh, a show, Underneath the show will tell you who the actors are or who the people are that's on the show. Someone has went and replaced my pictures with my sister. So not only did you steal money and our gospel album that we told grandmama that we were going to do, but now if you all go look, now me, my image is gone and is replaced with her pictures. Yeah, it's just a lot of cricket stuff that has happened.